Hello, my mysterious crewmates. It's Captain Mystery here. Um, this is gonna be a quick video, not meant to be sort of a, you know, longer one. Uh, cause I have a feeling it's better to tell you all this now instead of me never telling you later. Um, it's like, what is it? It's like 8.30 where I am. Yeah, like 8.42. Um, and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> everyone's in bed, and I probably should be too, I got a lot of stuff I need to do tomorrow. Uh, I made a reaction to the Nintendo Direct that happened. I am going to be late to the party, I am juggling about four things at once right now. School... You might as well count school twice. You might as well count school three times. I'm taking three classes. And my god. Let me tell you, computer science, it's an amazing field to go in. But it is so much work to get a degree in. You have no idea. I have to take a business communications class to qualify. Which, you know, you, that's the meme about universities where they have you take a bunch of classes that are of debatable use. I understand the logic behind it, don't get me wrong. I had my counselor t blatantly tell me, like, hey, it's to make sure you're well-rounded. I get that. It's just... It's just a class. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're going into a management role... I would highly advise you to take a business communications class. Anything in management. Or like, you know, a white collar job where you're like sitting in an office on a computer for like eight hours. It's just... I can't shake this feeling. It's kind of overstated. It's welcome. Like it's going into like excruciating detail. Well, not excruciating detail. It's going into... A lot of, let's just say for the sake of simplicity, unnecessary detail about simple things like email. Like, most of the stuff it explains, like, probably 70% you can figure out just by using, like, common sense or just, like, the general logic of the situation. Uh... Don't get me wrong, it, there is some useful stuff, stuff in there, like the, I think it's called the, the three steps idea, or the 50-25-25 rule, where you should spend 50% planning a message, 25% writing it, and 25% like checking it, or the three steps rule, where you break writing a message into three steps, them being planning it, well, planning it, writing it, and checking it. Uh, there's various, like, sub-steps. Like, for writing it, the, the last sub-step, for lack of a better word, is like, I, th I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like, it, it's something along the lines of tuning it to your audience. Uh, it, my point is, it's just a lot of work, and it seems a lot, in this semester, seems like most of it's unnecessary. Like, if I didn't have to take the business communication class, only one class I'm taking actually goes to my degree. The other class is sort of a sub, like, path, like a sort of minor I'm taking for a Google technical certification. I'm not very good at taking tests, and getting a comp, what's called a CompTIA A plus certification, is like a really good idea. But I'm I'm horrible at taking tests. I've just never been good at it. Like, it's one of those things where it's just like I'll spend months studying for it, going over everything, highlighting anything important, no taking notes of everything else. 
And the moment I sit down and actually start, it all just goes out the window all at once. And I go in basically as if I had studied, like, a week, started studying, studying like, four days ago. And, uh, the way it works for Google Tech is if you pass with at least an 80% on every lab, every smaller test, smaller tests and better at handling, um, every lab, every essay, every discussion, if you pass with at least an 80% and pass every single one, and... Uh, you will be Google Tech certified. Which I think is a cool idea. I think it's actually a really good idea. My main issue with it is that the labs are kind of stupid. Um, for example, I just did one where you had to partition disks in a Linux command line. Which is not easy. And the way the lab was set up, I think it was bugged because the lab was set up in such a way where the disk, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get technical, but basically the disk couldn't be f like basically formatted the way the lab expected it to. Um... And I didn't know what to do, so I just emailed the instructor, like, hey, I think the lab's bugged. Um, can you give me, like, an exception on this one? Because it's impossible to complete the way it's set up. And, uh, uh what else? Um, it's just hard. I am also full-time employed, and... I, today, is an amazing example. I had a just hard day at work. My leg, um, I don't know if I've ever explained what, what's wrong with my leg. I think I might have explained it in hard slash brittle diamond. But, very long story short, my leg is weaker than a need than it should be or it's weaker than expected and I can't stand for long periods of time without it just getting super sore and today I took some advice from my physical therapist to help correct my walking patterns or like the way I walk where I turn my foot inward just a little but like Two hours in, or four hours in, I was so sore. I was just ungodly levels of sore. I was, I didn't walk out of my shift. I limped out. Let me tell you, my job pays decent wage for, for an entry level but it can suck your soul out. And, um... Uh, what else? Uh... School. I had wanted to work on the, uh, my Linux administration class today. Or work on the book more. Because I've fallen behind a little bit. I'm falling behind in the class structure the way it is. It's basically a death sentence if you get too far behind. Uh, but I had basically come home and I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm so sore right now. I'm going to lay down for a little bit and then I am going to just buckle down. Um, I lay down for, I wanted to like just rest for like 30 minutes or an hour. I lay down for two. And I need to have dinner because I'm starving as well. And I'm just thinking, because by the time I finish, it's already like 8. 
And I'm just thinking, okay, it's too late. I'm just going to go to school early tomorrow and buckle on my book then. Because it was too early. Because it was too late. It was... I wanted to wake up tomorrow fully rested so I could take a beating tomorrow. It's just a lot to manage. I really want to do... I really want to start the reaction project. I'm like halfway done with the Has Been Hotel script. Uh, and I'm kind of on a time limit to get at that out. Because I want to get it out before the last episode of V's other series drop. Mm. It's just a lot. It's so much. Like I said, it's like 9. It's like 8.45, 9 now. I'm just tired. I'm trucking along. I'm working on it. I swear I am. What's that little green dot in the corner? Is that like showing that I'm recording? Oh gosh. Gosh, I'm tired. I'm working on it. School is brutal. School is just so brutal. When winter break comes along, it cannot come fast enough. I'm just tired. And sore. <laughs> I'm working on it. I am. At the very least, I'm working on it. You know, I'm being pulled in five different directions. But I am trying. That's all I can say right now. I'm trying. Okay. What else? Um. I have an idea for another short film <laughs> that's probably not going to start until way into winter. Um, I'm working on it. Not the short film. That's going to stay in my head for a while. Not, or not a while, but until I have more time to work on it. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. The best, the best I can say is that I swear to you all, I'm working on it. It's just going to be a while. I'm going to hopefully get the reaction out sooner rather than later. And I'm going to hopefully finish up the script and actually start filming. I'm working on it. Just be patient. It's going to be a while. But I swear to you all, I'm working on it. Uh, that's about it. If you like this video, kind of, sort of, maybe a little. And want to help me keep my sanity. Um, it's like that Markiplier. It's like that thing Markiplier said where he was asking himself like 50 questions rapid fire. And one of them was just like, What's the most expensive thing you've ever broken? And he was just thinking, and he just said, My sanity. I'm working on it. My sanity, it's being held together by very, very thin threads of string, but I'm working on it. Uh, it's just so much to keep up with. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, if you like this video, kind of, sort of, maybe a little, hit that like button, and why not subscribe to join the mystery crew for more videos like this. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.